Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. I am terribly sorry and my sincere apologies for not having actually uploaded a video in the last, what, two and a half months or so. Thank you for sticking around. Uh, thanks to all the new people that have subscribed as well. Um, but we're here. I've had a terribly bad winter. I've been sick the whole time and if I wasn't sick I was working crazy hours. So just no time for uh, video making, let alone editing, let alone fishing. So. Uh, but we got a new video, uh, and for good reason, because we got some um, little exciting news going on. Uh, as you may or may not know, um, we have been making a fair couple of fishing lures in the past, mainly stick baits uh, that would be used for bluefin tuna, yellowfin, GT internationally, unless you're in Hawaii, obviously, um, and for the bigger uh, pelagic saltwater fish. Um, however, I've had a good chat with my friend in Japan and uh, we already had been focusing a little bit on swim baits in the past uh, but right now we're actually bringing out uh, some swim bait models. First models will be available in May. There will only be five models available every month. Uh, cost an awful lot of time to make. They cost about four days to make before they're fully completed. And uh, at this point, even though we we work in development of the lures together, uh, we do the testing together. He's in Japan. I'm over here, and we exchange information. It's only a one-man job uh, in terms of making the fishing lures. It's just me by myself. So. Um, yeah, only five lures available every month. Uh, but it's pretty cool how we're going to do it because in the beginning uh, we're not actually going to release uh, two or three models. Uh, we're going to be making a white variety of models. Reason being, uh, we want to see what works best. We don't want to just go out there and say, well, we tested these three models, they've been good, uh, let's just release them under one name. Uh, we don't want to do that. We want to release all these wicked swim baits uh, and see what works best. You know, obviously we want to keep in touch with the customer uh, see how they perform. Obviously every lure is going to be able to catch fish and perform very very well obviously uh, but we don't want to stop there we want to keep improving so um, cool thing about this little swim bait uh, project that we got going on uh, is that every lure that we do sell has a little uh, registration number and we actually keep track of that in our database. Uh, it'll pop up on a little certificate that we send with the swim bait if you do end up on ordering one. Um, and it gives you all the information, uh, what time it was built, when it was built, when it was finished, uh, what materials were used, uh, how much the lure weighs, the length, um, you name it, it's gonna be on that certificate. Uh, and then if you have really good results with that particular swim bait and you want one produced exactly like that, then we're able to do that. We've got it registered in the database. And on top of that, it actually comes through for us as this is a very good lure. Uh, maybe we should be looking more into uh, making more of this particular model. So it's kind of how it works. It's kind of in a nutshell. I'm sure that it's going to be uh, a little bit tedious at some points, but very rewarding at others. So uh, fingers crossed for that. We've already received uh, plenty of um, interest in actually buying these lures. So um, hopefully in May uh, we'll get the first five going and uh, go from there. We'll be making a Facebook page, uh, maybe even a little Instagram page as well uh, on these lures. So you can check them out, check out the pictures, check out how they're performing. Uh, well, whenever we do tests out in the field, obviously we'll be uploading uh, stuff on that. So it's all pretty cool. Um, top of that, every single lure is made out of wood. Um, depending on what model it is, we use a couple of varieties of wood but my preference goes out to the ones that are made of polonia because it's just a phenomenal wood it's great to work with uh, very consistent uh, it's just a beautiful wood unfortunately very hard to get as some of the 
if it's stick bait as you might know um, but we've got a supply so that that's fine um, mainly polonia wood uh, all the uh, uh, hardware that we use including screw eyes uh, the foiling uh, even the plastic glass tails plastic tails it's all handmade uh, one of the problems that we ran into with well you run at the mill uh, swim baits uh, or the ones that we were making ourselves with um, regular screw eyes was that there was a lot of noise that came from uh, the joints clicking together and the screw eyes bashing together. Uh, we only really started noticing this when we actually did a, a pull test and we recorded it underwater and we listened to the noise that it made. Uh, so we wanted to reduce that so all of our uh, wiring and the screw eyes are all handmade. Um, just to give you an example there is barely any movement between these joints barely anything just enough to make the joint run flexible uh, but very uh, very tight for the rest so there's um, no noise that comes off this underwater we noticed uh, we've recorded it again underwater uh, nothing that we could hear on the recording versus uh, the other times when we had well, the joints clacking together so that's something uh, that we're quite happy in solving it's a bit of extra time making the screw eyes and everything yourself the connections the joints uh, but it's better this way uh, on top of that mm, we do put magnets in the in some of the models not all of them uh, it's mainly with the biggest swim bait that we'll be putting magnets in the belly as well as the tail um, mainly because the only hesitation that we've seen with um, the lures that we've been testing uh, is when we've got a very medium sized fish and they're chasing a, a very big lure, um, even small fish chasing a big lure, and they nibble at it. I still would like to catch that fish. Uh, we want to get our clients to get into as many fish as possible. Um, so something that that would have solved is for a treble to actually hang along the body, which is what it will do. Now, I don't know if I can show you here, but there you go. It hangs along the body. Uh, if that smaller bass actually disables the tail of the, the swim bait you have a much better chance of actually hooking up when the hook is aligned uh, we found at least so um, anything helps we want to reduce the variables of not catching a fish that's essentially what it comes down to and top of that all the tails as I said are custom made uh, we cut them out ourselves we carve them personally as well and now you can kind of start to understand why the process of making these lures takes so freaking long um, the tails take a lot of handwork. There's a lot of craftsmanship involved in <laughs> making these lures, so uh, something I'm very proud of because the results are phenomenal, uh, but at the same time, very tedious. Um, the, the, the foiling is done uh, all by hand, all the scales are cut in by hand. Um, that made it a bit more of a difficult process too because layering paint and foil, epoxy, and urethane coatings uh, in the right way takes a lot of time. So, either way, four days is uh, about as quick as we can make each, each of these bags. Um, we do have a little testing video of this particular model right here. Uh, these two larger ones, they're both floating models. Um, and the smaller one, uh, there's actually a suspending lure. Uh, we won't be making a whole lot of small swim baits. Uh, unless there's a demand for it, if you, obviously, if you say, hey, I want a small swim, but we can definitely make you one for it, but um, the ones that we tend to release every month are generally about this size, and probably even a little bit bigger too. Um, this particular one is a 5 pounds model with the hooks on it, um, slow floating, and the reason I wanted the floating swim bait is simply because the warm weather is coming up, I've got a couple of little spots in which big bass tend to move when the water temperature rises uh, and you want something shallow running which is pretty cool it's very visual uh, yeah I'm sure this one will be absolute dynamite on these fish so um, got a little pool test for you right here so unfortunately the water in the pool was very murky uh, but at least you can get a bit of an idea how they swim um, check it out
So sorry about the blurry image there. Couldn't help it, but you get the idea of it. Um, if we do do a field test with these lures, obviously we'll be posting more information. Uh, we'll be uploading a, a Facebook page fairly soon, within the next month or so. Um, to kind of keep track of uh, the field testing, how it all goes. Uh, I'll post a link in, somewhere on my YouTube channel in the comments or whatever, if you guys want to check it out. Uh, also, I regularly post on uh, Strictly Swimbait, so uh, if you want to stay in touch with all the messages for now, uh, go to the Strictly Swimbait Facebook page, or even our um, Facebook page, the Angling Globe Trotters, kind of go from there. So, uh, thanks for watching, guys. Thank you for uh, keeping your eyes on this channel. Really appreciate it. White Bass Run is going on right now. We might be uh, doing some uh, recording of that as well. Stay tuned guys, thanks.